Y'all, I got a question for you guys. Coming up on Shella and Talk Life and Marriage with Shella and Frank Talk Life and Marriage. Okay. Husband and wife. Did you hear about this, Frank? Because I don't know if you did or not. Excuse me. Husband and wife and two dogs was found dead in a murder suicide after being diagnosed with cancer. You hear about that? Mm -hmm. The wife and the husband was both diagnosed with cancer. They wanted to <clears throat> leave the world the way they came into the world. I think the the husband was like four years younger than the wife. I think the husband was like 45 and the wife was like 49. And they had two dogs. <sighs> I'm going to give y'all a little clip mm -mm. after this. They had two dogs. And the husband told one of the, their friends what they were going to do. Because they, but they didn't want the friend to tell anybody. But told that friend just so that when they are found and they're dead, that they know why. And that person would be the why, even though they could have left a note, but I guess, you know, you never know how people's mentality are thinking. But he was diagnosed with a with a cancer, uh, a deadly cancer, obviously. And she was diagnosed. I'm gonna show y'all the article, y'all keep following. And she was diagnosed with a with a deadly cancer. And they didn't wanna live life with cancer through the deterioration stage. So their dog, they didn't have any kids together, so their dogs were their kids. So they decided to take the lives of themselves and their dogs. Mm -hmm. That's but, stupid though. But but listen to this though. Go ahead. The wife, okay, they charged, even though they, they, they're all dead, they're all dead. They, they charged the wife's death as a homicide. They charged the husband's death as a suicide. So obviously, he killed the wife and the dogs before he killed himself. I guess he was the last one standing, but they all died. But they, they ruled the wife's death as a homicide and the husband's death as a suicide. Now, they still were vibrant. I mean, they, they had a, uh, obviously they had a Facebook page and they were vibrant, you know, they were still living life. Judgment free zone. What do you guys think about them having that pat? Put your comments down below. Well, what do you think? Well, I don't believe in suicide. I believe people have weaknesses and, and stuff. And um, I don't believe in just trying to be successful and taking my life. Because he did call 911. But he called 911 so they can find the bodies by the time they got there. They were already, you know, they were all dead. But they say he called 911. I don't know. So I got a little bit of the article attached to this video. I want y'all to check it out. And then after you read it, um, comment below what you guys think, what your take is. What's your take, Frank? You got to, you got to let God just take care of that, you know. Taking your own lives just because you got a terminal sickness. I understand everybody weak in mind, different from everybody else, you know. But still, though, just enjoy one other while you still got life, you know, husband, wife, you know, and the dogs, you know. But uh, no, I, 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 if I be diagnosed with a terminal cancer or whatever, I'm going to live until that time comes, you know. God heal me or whatever. And even if he don't hear me, you know, hey, it's that time to go. Yeah, because you're pretty much taking that little uh, grain of uh, mustard seed of faith. If, yeah. you, if you're believing in God, I mean, you're taking that well, grain of mustard seed away. They weren't standing on faith. I don't faith, know what you know? their beliefs were, but they couldn't have been standing on the faith. No, that, they weren't you know, standing on faith. God would, God would be the final. I don't care what the doctors say. Let God have the final answer. You know, it doesn't even matter what the doctors say. The doctors say, I'm going to die today. 
Guess what? Ain't I'm not gonna go and, and kill myself today just because the doctor said I'm gonna die today. Who knows tomorrow what God has promised for me? <coughs> you know, and then we're here on this world, we're here on this we're, life, we're, we're in this path. We're just walking through it. We're not here to stay. You know, people say, Oh, they they died so young, or they died before their time, they died too soon. There's no such thing. Because when it's your time, no matter how you young and old you are. You're going to leave this world, but no matter how young and old you are, God makes no mistake of what he does. He brings you in his life for a reason. He takes you out for a reason. And people say they may have gotten out of their, their life sooner, which is possible because they took their lives, they took their mm -hmm. lives into their hands. God knows all. Yeah, yeah. God knows all. God knew that they were going to do this, obviously, because yeah. God knows everything. But just put your comments down below because you know situation right there though that's just weak in spirit and weak in faith, you know. I don't know some people they go through so so much and they can't just they can't handle it, you know. Mm -mm. They don't they they ain't gonna trust God, you know. They could have lived. You never know how yeah. God God could have God could have taken them off this sick bed, you know. You never know. He could have. He could have wiped out that cancer. It just ugh. and he and he and he has done it, you know. Yeah. But some people that live years, you know, with with, with a terminal, uh, mm -hmm. you know, cancer, whatever. Because you have live people living witness; they can attest to it. God, uh, uh, they've been told that they were going to be gone from this world, and here it is, fifteen, ten, maybe twenty years later, they still yeah, here. Yeah, still here. They're still here. Now, I know their cancer, I guess they didn't want to be, you know, maybe decrepit or however that cancer was going to some affect people, their body. Some people just don't like nobody waiting on them when they get sick and stuff like that, you know. They used to doing things for other folks, but they just feel, yeah. I don't know. It ain't so much a shame. You sick, you just sick. You can't do for yourself. That's why God got other people standing in the gap to do for you, you know. Just, you never know how you're going to leave this earth, though. Some people have left the earth in, in all kind of ways, you know, tragedy, traffic, and then sickness, you know. Mm -hmm. So, I don't and know. if it was I, meant for y'all. Lord help me, I ain't going to take my own life. No. Mm -hmm. No, I ain't going to take my own life. Leave that up to God. When God ready, he'll take you. He'll take you. Yeah, but I thought that was just so sad. And then yeah, they, they took the something. dog's lives yeah, too, just, you know. What? Why are you taking the dog's yeah. life? They ain't did nothing. I understand they've been with y'all and stuff. They, I guess you figure, well, I'm leaving this earth. I'm leave, taking my dogs too with me. But that's what it was. You know, just, they were leaving. They they were the family, so they were leaving as a family. Yeah, but then you uh, hear a lot about murder, um, suicide. suicides with with yeah. couples and 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 packs that they have to leave at the same time you know but I'll be sad my husband you know I'll be sad she says she'll be sad for a little while y'all and uh as soon as they come and get me take that last breath this it woman be tearing this damn house I'm trying to looking for insurance paper really funny <laughs> Really nothing. And she be going out to the club. Oh. She said, told me she got a mini skirt she want to put on. I said, yeah, you'll wear it right here in the house. But shoot, I, once I leave, she'll wear it out to that darn club. Showing all the You didn't meet me in the club. You didn't Oh, uh, yeah, you'll say that. I was going out yeah. to the club. You'll so say I'm, that. Sure not They'll meet. say that, y'all. They'll say that. You ain't meet me in the club. I ain't go to the club. I ain't been to the club in years. Maybe that's what you'll do. No. Ain't you know, nothing out there. Okay then. Ain't so what about the club? What y'all think about this? And this was in Alabama. I'm trying to think what was that. Two guys, I guess they were friends. They had an argument where they gonna sit out 
where they gonna go and sit down and eat barbecue. I guess they. Oh, I saw that. You seen that? I didn't read it. I guess I, I I, it was book. something like that though. But I got to read the whole story. Mm -hmm. But where they gonna sit and eat barbecue? And they, they must have got in a heat argument because one went home. A uh, well, he went, got the weapon, and came back and shot the other one, killed him. Wow, and they were friends. I guess so. They won't sit down and eat barbecue and have an argument. Mm. One say, "Well, no, we ain't gonna go here. We ain't gonna sit here. Or we ain't." Gonna... Shoot. Now, people get losing their life over some stupid mess. I mean, it used to be y'all had a fight, or you argue, or you disagree, <clears throat> fell out it is just, for, uh, for for the day. <laughs> And then the next then day or, or the next week, y'all back friends like nothing else happened. Then got but now out. it's like people don't, they, they have. They just fall out now and they ready to go run home and get guns. They stuff. ready to just do a complete <coughs> ending of life. It's like, where did the. Don't be getting mad over. The disassociation come from. Like, this little silly mess, y'all. People losing their life over silly man. Look at them folks over there in Indonesia at that darn soccer game. And the police officer went to shooting that darn gas and stuff, tear gas. It must have some strong darn tear gas. People getting stampeded like 125 plus people lost their lives. Mm. That don't make no sense, y'all. Something ain't right. No, something not right. That's a lot of people. <clears throat> yeah, that's a lot of people. Mm. People getting stampeded. All that, all that mess. We coming to the last days, y'all. With everything going on and the stuff that we see that we didn't that was never seen before. <coughs> but we just have to stay prayed up. You know. Let me go and get my dog. Keep that faith. Okay? Keep the faith. And when you come on hard times, have somebody you can confide with. Your husband and wife really should be somebody you that you can time. confide to. But if you can't confide to your husband uh, and your husband can't confide in his wife, y'all need to seek yeah. Something yeah. even higher, mm -hmm. you know. It is what it is. Mm -hmm. But yeah, I, I want y'all. <laughs> boy, I'm about to, I don't think it knocked you upside your head. Y'all want to see me in fight? Fight? <clears throat> Shut up. This girl can't fight. She can't even stand up. She was looking for a medicine this morning, y'all. <laughs> in the refrigerator. <laughs> right. I'm in there trying to watch the new Gail King now. Right. I can't read my medicine. I said, you sure you put it back in the refrigerator when you got to use it last week? Yeah, I put it in that big old box. Ain't no way I can miss that big old box. I went in there, y'all. Lord, they're going to they go to medicine right there and take me a good minute, y'all. Oh, I ain't checked that drum. I looked everywhere in that refrigerator. Metal, girl, you a trip. I did not find that box. This girl a trip, y'all. I was taking stuff out and still gonna find my Frank, wife. My Frank wife. walk in here. She gonna tell me, tell me, I threw it away. I must have threw it away. I, I, see, I threw no, my I, medicine away. I said, you must have threw it away. You left it somewhere. Left it in the somewhere. Bedroom. It stays in the refrigerator. And you out. It's, anyway, he gonna go walk in the refrigerator. The first thing he do, he pull it out. I pull the drawer out. Yeah. It big old buzz. Yeah, I'm so, saying to myself, God, this girl, uh, is, she may have to get a new eye, y'all. I pray that she don't have to. I told you I'm not getting no, some, no another person out. Uh, 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 special glasses or something. I'm not getting nobody party parts on me. Girl, be God quiet. gave me this. I, be I live no, with yeah, it. You are the, yeah, I live, uh, uh, I, I live uh, with it. Yeah, with it. right. Uh -huh. This girl crazy today. What do y'all think about that? Would y'all take no, somebody's be body quiet, part be quiet. to live or to function? You wouldn't take nobody heart? If, no, if, if God made me a heart <clears throat> that wasn't good enough Shella, for me to I'm continue saying. to live in, Will you stop and right <sighs> it was time for me to go. I'm not taking somebody else's heart. You ain't. So what you trying to say? If it's my time to no, go. No, you were just. Shella. I will leave with my body parts. <clears throat> you guys, I'm, you not, I'm, with your body I'm not a donor. <clears throat> I'm not a donor. This is a total no subject. Yeah, but I'm, I'm, I'm not a donor. But I think God, times, though, he got... A lot of times, you go to these doctors and stuff, and they see you donors, they'll be like, okay, yeah, we need to pull the plug. No, nah, they yeah, don't pull no You never thing. know. They ain't gonna pull the plug like that. You never know. No, they may no. be like, we, we need no, this. Not. No, we need not. this harder. We need don't this longer. Like, we need this. Don't think like that. They're like, well, she is a donor, no. so, you know, hey. I thank God my cousin got a... Preserver all the work. He had a heart transplant. He doing good, thank God. Yeah, he, he doing real good. Yeah. I'm, I'm, I'm glad. I'm thankful that he... Shut up, I'm thankful that he was able to get a heart... 
because people on a long waiting list to get hearts, and he got like that. He, he got it pretty. Yeah, he got it really quick. Thank you, my listener. Yeah, you know, Eric, to each your own. You know, I ain't got no problem with people that that, that get these parts, but I just want to be girl. Great. Be quiet. I just want to go on with what I, God gave me. You is just who this girl. She a mess, y'all. That just me. She if it's my it. time. It's my time. No, nah, she she a hurt all morning. And then she want to wait the night time to go to a darn immersion room. You heard for darn 10, 12 hours. You remember that? I remember that. Oh, Frank, I need to go to the emergency room. Girl, I said, girl, I tried to get you to go this morning. Now you out of it. Because I, yeah. I, 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 I suffer myself a lot. No, no, you, know? you need to and stop it. Like, you, like, you need to stop it. You need to stop it. That COVID was running rapid back then, You too. need to stop it. Girl, be quiet. I'll just deal with it. All right, y'all, we got to go. I couldn't deal with it, y'all. So I couldn't deal with it. So y'all go check out Schiller and Frank Talk Life and Mass if y'all here today. If y'all here today, subscribe. If y'all here today, subscribe. If you guys are here today, subscribe and go check out Reality TV. P-R-O-M-O-S-P-K. 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 P-R-O-M-
and wise where we eat good in the neighborhood. We're a mukbang eating show, cooking and recipes, especially soul food, pranks on Frank. Oh, y'all go check it out. Challenges, vlogs, comedy skits, short videos, and TikTok. So come on and become our oh yeah baby today. Subscribe to our channel. Follow us on Instagram, promo SDK, promo SDK. Or you can also go to any of our social sites and find us under promo STK. Oh yeah, baby. We can't wait to see you. We can't wait to meet you. So come on over.